All right, guys. We're here with my brother and my sister, and we're gonna cook some mussels. We got about two pounds of mussels. It's like frutti di mare. It's 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 everything. Fruit of the sea. We've got these mussels, these fresh penko mussels from uh, Penko. Uh, we've got these giant uh, diver scallops. Uh, these you just sear, you know, a minute on each side, and any longer you ruin them. And then these giant, giant shrimp. I mean, this is, I didn't know they made bugs this big. You know, they're, they're huge. Uh, so we're gonna tempura batter and fry these guys. And uh, they're gonna be sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, the mussels, we're gonna have a baguette to go with them. Uh, a little bit of wine, some chicken stock, shallot, uh, a little bit of cream, garlic, and parsley, among other things. <laughs> <laughs> What are, we, what are we doing here? Uh, so first we're just going to melt some butter in a pan, or a pot. Uh, then the uh, garlic and shallot go in here and uh, for about five minutes. And then the wine, chicken stock, and uh, the moon mussels. Just going to let it melt, start to bubble. Shallot in, garlic in. Um, you don't want to burn the garlic. Garlic can burn. If you're not careful. Just get it going. It'll soften up. You can already smell it. Oh yeah, you can smell it really Yeah, good. it's amazing. It's a nice little combo. Uh, is this like a conventional thing where people use this big pot for it, or are you supposed well, to? Well, like... I mean, it's uh, it, it's the pot that I have. You know, uh, I've actually got a Dutch oven that would be nice too, but um, this works. Yeah, this is this is a good stock pot for, for doing clams or mussels or anything like that, steaming anything. I'm just give it five minutes. So what do you got there? Uh, so this is the wine and the chicken stock. You can add that in and uh, let it kind of come to a, a boil. And then we have our mussels right here. Just going to drain off the excess... Uh, Liquid. I know I have a top to this thing somewhere. Oh, there it is. Why, why are you draining it off? Uh, it's just a little extra seawater or whatever it is. You know. um, they're going to be briny just fine. Oops. <clears throat> the perils of a small, small kitchen. But uh, what's great about this is uh, you can make wonderful food in any size kitchen. And uh, you can see I've got a four burner electric stove. I've got a, uh, an oven that overheats. I've made the most beautiful baguettes in that thing. I've made the best risotto and, and wonderful pastas and beautifully, beautifully cooked uh, steaks and, and uh, seafoods. It doesn't matter, you can, you can do anything you want with, with uh, as long as you've got a little heat. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna toss in these mussels. It shouldn't take very long. So for this, I put my blacksmithing apron on. Uh, it's a very important moment. We're just gonna dump these muscles in here. Got a little simmer going on. We're gonna feed this plastic to the seals. And uh, yeah, look at this. I'm gonna toss them. Toss the muscles in the uh, sauce here. And then uh, cook this up for six to 10 minutes. Just wait until they open, and we're gonna be good. And uh, then we're gonna put the the baguette in, and we'll be ready. All right, so we've gone six to ten minutes, and what we have are some fat, fat little mussels there. They look gorgeous. Um, this guy did a really good job finding them, and uh, oh, a little fat mussel. So uh, mussels are done. Add a little bit of parsley, a little bit of cream. <laughs> so fresh, we gotta open it. Just a, just a touch. Oh, it's from my And then uh, give, it a, give it another toss. Oh man, it looks amazing. It smells amazing. And just wait for the bread. It it sounds go. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last thing we need is spaghetti. Baguette. Yes, sir. Okay. 
muscles are ready to go. Look at that sauce. Oh my god. Mm. Amazing. So we baked the baguette, but we're gonna get uh, crazy with this shit too. Uh, we are going to the most delicate operation but we're gonna butter this and then broil it so we have a nice brown and even uh, dark crusty top to match the set off the the, the uh, muscles oh, look at that things. yeah they're fat oh boy they're nice what do you think mm, wonderful wee wee and poo poo <laughs> yeah. All right. So we baked off the uh, the bread, and then we split it, we'll butter it under the broiler, brown it up a little bit. This is the stuff you want to be soaking up the broth with. To get it out of there. A tiny little oven. I've made the best stuff out of this oven. I wouldn't even believe it. Uh, you can make anything out of a small kitchen. Anything. We got a salt bay. We got a little salt bay in here. And we'll do a little pepper bay too. We just tasted it and then uh, you know, you taste it and adjust. Taste it and adjust. So salt is not a spice. Salt is a way to lock in flavor. Pepper is a spice. Don't be afraid to salt your food. Nice some crispy bread. Mmm, buttery, crispy, toasty. It's got a nice sourdough flavor to it as well. Uh, we're it's gonna bakery. dip it in oh, the boy. sauce and get a ooh, oh, ooh, two for this one. This is like ah. gold. <laughs> that should be illegal. <laughs> what are you tasting right now, Kitty? Um, that wine sauce, wine complementing with the parsley, a little salt, a little hint of butter from the from the bread. Mm -hmm. Delicious little muscle.